Hello everyone, today we talk about the budget EDC and all these items is actually legal to carry especially in the UK. First item we talk about is this Night Eyes Cargo Double Wide. They are really perfect for belt carry and this thing can, belt carry can move around so you can rotate it, you can have it uh, vertically or horizontally. The good thing is here you don't need to open your buckle so easily you can just pull it this way and just push it through your belt or even your backpack or wherever whatever you have it with you uh, the reason i choose this one instead of the other ones is a slightly wider actually and it has a, so many pockets inside and when you have it in your belt it's not too bulgy as you know i have a a big phone bb9500 so you saw the video about this phone so one of the best thing is this phone can easily fit inside this bag although normally i don't carry my phone inside the pouch but it can fit inside another positive thing about this bag is it has a, a small uh, section inside which i normally ca carry my name cards and another section which i carry my other tools plus my uh, a copy of my ID card and at the back actually it has a space which I carry my hands free inside it has a elastic band here to uh, secure the uh, earphone or whatever you put here which I normally carry my earphone inside so it can carry everything for me and it's not too big the price for this one is uh, about 23 24 US dollar I purchased it the next thing is my my keychain so it's a simple um, paracord keychain with carabiner and a ring at the back it's very simple actually you can make it yourself it's pretty easy I think I purchased it two dollar if I'm not wrong two or three two dollar I think so and I carry my house key I mean the access card plus uh, some other item I normally uh, put it on my key I just remove it for video purpose and I have this cheap pry bar I saw many pry bar in market in internet they are not very cheap uh, they are cute they are uh, very nice good looking and this is not bad actually I have it for more than one year one year one and a half years uh, the pry bar for nail remover uh, a hex wrench bottle opener and also for pry bar I tried it because I normally do carving and when I cut the wood uh, to the half with the saw, so sometimes I need to just put this pry bar there and just put the pressure to break the wood. And I remember the first time I tried it, I was very worried it break down or bend, but nothing happened to this. I purchased it about five dollar. You can find it many places. Another thing I normally add to my keychain is a small flashlight, which I got it as a gift from a colleague. This flashlight is Mankel Lad 2 or Mankel Lad. The max lumen it has is 300 lumens. The beam distance is 56 meter. It has a two meter impact resistance. Uh, it's IPX6 and waterproof. They said waterproof up to two meter. So it's still okay. The good thing about this is you don't need to have a battery. You can just charge it through your normal mini USB port. They said with low beam, it can work about 125 hours. I don't think so. Low beam is quite useful. It's, it's a moonlight actually. And then, and it has also strobe and yep sos another thing i carry with myself it's a container it's a small container actually it's waterproof stainless steel you can find the titanium aluminium uh, this is a stainless steel i normally uh, carry my i mean painkiller pills inside so in case if my migraine kick in or my uh, kidney pain come up so i have to just take pill immediately actually so I normally keep my, uh, if I'm not wrong, this is a Panadol, yeah, for painkiller. So I normally keep it here with me everywhere. So this thing and my flashlight is always in my keychain with me wherever I'm going. Okay, let's talk about what I normally carry inside this pouch. One of the things I carry in this pouch is this multi-tool screwdriver. It has a four tip, the flips head and the flat head. So you can just remove it. 
and put it in the top and I start to using so if you need more leverage actually you can remove this part and then put it to the side so you have an easier access for opening and closing any uh, screw or anything else you want to open I have it for so long it has a small LED light I, this, I don't think this is useful. It had a uh, one uh, can opener or bottle opener here, but it was a bit too, I mean, when you put it in your pocket or somewhere, it's a bit too big. It's like a pin here. So I removed it. This part is also for oxygen valve opener. So in case if you are in rush for somewhere to hold, you can just open it. A bottle opener and um, not bad at all. I think I purchased it about 10 US dollar. It's a great multi-tool. I used it a lot, especially when I'm going out with my gopro if i want to open and close some of the screws here and there i normally use this one it's very handy it just goes nicely inside this section and still your phone can be here another item another flashlight if i don't carry that one with myself the the lad 2 if i don't carry the mankle lad 2 with myself i normally carry this one with me uh it said night core tip ss if i'm not wrong you can just i try to put the specs on the screen for you so you can just easily check it one of the good thing about this is actually you can attach it to the tip of your cap and it just stay there and use it as a like your headlamp it's very useful for that purpose seldom i use it in the normal daily life but sometimes when you want to go outside for um, adventures going here and there if I bring my cap there then I just bring this one it's easy to just connect it to my cap and use it another funny things I purchase and I carry with myself is my nail clipper I think I purchased it 1.5 dollar 150 or 2 dollar if I'm not wrong not more than that it's a great nail clipper not very convenient but is really solve your problem it's good it came with a small pouch and I use the pouch to carry my duct tape because you never know when you are in out station or you're outside the town or somewhere going to another town for a trip, you might need this. And I use it a lot actually. So it's good to have it with yourself. So in case if I don't want to carry my that multi-tool, which I show you, I normally carry this one. It has a, a scissor, a very sharp scissor actually. It's super sharp scissor. Uh, it has a bottle opener. It has a can opener. Uh, it has a flips head and flat head. Not very convenient to carry, but it's a cheap EDC. But if you need scissor in your everyday carry, this is a very good item. It's cheap. They said it's Gerber, but I don't believe uh, I think it's a fake one, the Chinese one. They just put the name there. They just print it on top of that. I purchased it $10, but it works well. In my everyday carry, definitely a pen is a must. So I should have a pen everywhere I go, especially during the working time. I should have a pen with myself. Uh, I have a two brass pen. I, I change many, many different pens. And uh, even the technical pen, I don't like it. I prefer this these two pen actually. Uh, I mostly use this one because it's very easy to use it. I use it every day uh, for the last one year. Uh, no problem. And if I just maybe once in six months, I just clean it. One of the good things about this bag is it has a place for pen. It goes inside and you can have a phone beside it. So there is no problem. And anytime I need my pen, I just open it. I just pull it up and then just put it back. Another type of pen I have is almost the same one, but, but because it has a screw, it's quite cute, a smaller part, a smaller size. Uh, it's nice, you can have it in your keychain actually, it has a, a ring in the top, so you can have it in your keychain, but I prefer that one because it's much easier to just pull it out and just start to using it than this one. So these two, I think I purchased this one about uh i think 10 or 12 dollar this one almost same from a different supplier in thailand i purchased it from a local supplier that's why maybe they are so cheap okay the last item i have to share with you is this beauty 
It's supposed to be a Serge Pachenko bean knife, but it's not. It's a fake Chinese one. Uh, I purchased it, I think, $15, the fake brand one. It doesn't have a pocket clip, which I hope it has, but it's okay for me. I normally use it even during my work, like a fidget for myself. I mean, during the meetings, yeah, nobody knows what is this. It doesn't look like a very creepy knife. I'm sure uh, in those who live in the UK, uh, you need to have a, a non-lockable knife with less than three inches blade. And this is exactly non-lockable. It's friction folder and uh, it's very smooth. I can say every day, at least 20 times, I just play with this when I'm sitting behind my desk and working. And uh, it has a, some kind of, they call it stone wash look like. I thought at first maybe it's just a paint they make it, but no, it's really a stone wash. I hope they didn't put the Serge Pachenko, uh, I mean, the, the logo here, it's not nice. You can buy Swiss Army knife. Yep, it's a nice one, you can have it in the UK. Uh, but it's finally Swiss Army knife. I, I don't like it actually that much more than this one. Definitely this is my first choice if I want to use it. You can buy a Spider Go Squeak, but the price of a Spider Go Squeak is about 85 pound if I'm not wrong, around 80, 85 pound minimum. It's a nice one. It's also for a friction fold you can carry in UK. This one, I said I purchased it uh, $12. So compare with the 85 pound. And the original, actually, the original of this one for the Serge Pachenko in Blade HQ, I found it, although now they don't have it, they said it's out of stock, recently I checked it, but the price is 300 US dollar. Then Italian company, if I'm not wrong, the name is uh, Fiora, if I'm not wrong, Fiora, they start to make the same one with a price about maybe 30 to 40 dollar. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me. It's not bad. The blade is actually working very well. Uh, I like it. It's a bit sometimes difficult to sharpen this, but with the normal sharpener you're using in the kitchen, the blade is not bad, as I mentioned. I normally use this sharpener. I mean, this is for normal kitchen sharpening. Uh, it's not a professional sharpener, but it works very well with this knife. Just to show you how sharp it is. For... 10 12 dollar i think this is a perfect choice it's nice good looking this one also goes inside my phone although i said i normally do not carry my phone inside because i just should have it beside myself during the work time but this is the perfect choice for me. I hope you like it, guys. I put the link of all these items, if I can find it, actually. I put it uh, in the description. So if you have any question, any more suggestion, and any idea, please share it with me. I'll be happy to hear from you. Take care and good luck.